Hey, what is going on guys? Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some automatic doors where you can go up to them, they'll automatically open side to side, kind of like um, some doors in real life. All right, so I'm going to get started. So first, I'm going to be making my two doors. So um, let me get my scale. And I'm going to just make them the size that I want. I'm going to put them both together, kind of like this, and I'm going to name one door one and the other door two. Door one, rename door two. So we have door one and door two here, but they're kind of in the open, so I'm going to add some walls around them. So I'll put one over here, and I'm going to put it kind of like this, kind of thick, so that the walls... Um, or the doors um, are going to slide back into the walls. So I'm going to make them kind of thick and a little bit long. So I'm going to copy this and move it over here. That should be good. Actually, let me resize this so it all looks kind of smooth. And I put this all over here like this. Okay. So. Now what we want to do is insert a script into our server script service and we can start scripting. So first what we're going to do is get our tween service, so local tween service equals game get service tween service. Next we're going to make a list of the players touching. And next, we want to reference our door one and door two. So game.workspace.door dot dot door one equal door two equals game dot workspace dot door two. All right. The next thing that we do is we get the start and end positions of our parts. So local door one start equals door one dot position because it starts at the position kind of that it's at and then it's going to go to an end and it's going to go back to its start position and that's how it's going to work so local door two start equals door two dot position and local door one end equals vector three dot new and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move my door one back into where I don't see it anymore, kind of hidden, so that um, when it does go back, it's going to go to right here. So I'm going to move it back and I'm going to get this position. The position is over here on the left in your properties. If you don't have your properties open, it's in the view properties and we're going to copy this position right here, control C, and we're going to paste it into our vector 3.new and I'm going to move it back and I'm going to do the same thing with door 2. So local door 2 end equals vector 3.new and I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it back to where I want it to be. And I'm going to copy this position, place it in there. All right, now that we got that, we should be good to go. Actually, I'm gonna move it back. We should be good to go. So local info next is going to be our tween info for when we're tween in. Tween info dot new. And this uh, number right here that I'm about to place, one is going to be the time that it takes for the doors to open and close. You can change this if you want. And you can also change the easing style, easing direction, and so on with um, tweens. But I'm just going to set it to like 1.5 as default. And now what we also want to do is create a detector. So when somebody gets near our doors, it's going to open. So local detector equals but we don't have it yet so what I'm going to do is create a detector thing quote unquote 
I'm going to insert another part. And I'm going to size it kind of around the doors, kind of like this. And I'm going to make it bigger, actually. So whenever they hit this part, the doors are going to open. Yeah, that's about, so that's somewhat even. You can make yours, I mean, it's just the, the box where the, the doors will open if they, they're this close. So I'm going to rename this detector, detector, and local detector equals game dot workspace dot detector. So what we're going to do now is detector dot touched connect function. And what we need to do first is verify if the person that touched it is a actual person. So local minoid equals parts. Actually, we have to put part here. I forgot so part in a parentheses part dot parents find first child humanoid. And if there is a humanoid in the part, then what we want to do is get our player, which is our game dot players, get player from character humanoid dot parent which the humanoid.parent is a character, and from the character, we're gonna get the player. And what we wanna do now is we wanna utilize our player's touching um, list that we made. So if not table.find, so if we're not finding our player in the table, then we wanna insert them into the player touching table. And then what we wanna do is insert them into the table because now they're touching the part. And now what we want to do is actually tween it. So we want to do tween service, create door one info, and then position in brackets or braces. These are called braces, I believe. Position equals door one end. And then we're going to put play. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to change some of the variables. So this can be door two and this is going to be door two end. And there we go. So it should now open, but I don't think it'll close. I actually have to make sure every single thing is anchored. Make sure everything's anchored. Anchored. And we also want to set this actually to can collide. Can collide off and you also want to set the transparency to one all right so this door should open but i don't think it'll close yet all right see it'll open but it's not going to close yet because we haven't made it close yet so now to make it close detector.touch ended so when they stop touching the parts for our detector we want to do this so we can kind of copy this part a little bit I'm just going to copy this part, but I'm going to delete um, this. So next, if table.find, players touching, player. So if they're in our list, then what we want to do is remove them from our list. So table.remove, players touching, table.find players touching player this will just remove them from our list and what we want to do is if number of players touching equals zero that means nobody is touching our detector then we want to close it because we want to we don't want to close it if somebody's actually still near it we only want to close it um if nobody is near it it's not based on that one person so tween service create Door one info and then change our position equal to door one start. So it goes back to its start position and play. I'm just going to copy this again and then change our variables. Door two, door two start. Okay, there's only one little thing left, but it's not super, super important. But 
I, I like to add this because it uh, gets rid, rid of a, a little bug that you might have in your game. So we're going to do game.players.player moving, connect function, player. I'm going to explain this a little bit after I do this, but I'm just going to copy this and paste it in here. That should be good. Actually, we don't need the player part because we already have the player. This is good right here. So basically, what this part does is it opens up the door when their player gets near. Um, what this part does is it closes it um, when there's nobody around, when everybody's stopped touching it. And what this does is if the person leaves near it, it'll like if there's nobody near it too, it'll close it. Because technically, if they leave the game, they didn't end touching it. So, I mean, they didn't, they're, they're still touching it when they leave. So technically it won't close. So this is just a little bug fix kind of with the whole situation. So I'm going to test it out. Boom. I go near it, closes. And actually I can set, um, our little detector. You don't have to do this. I'm just going to show this for an example transparency a little bit so whenever we do touch our our box it'll open and close like this and then once we go out as soon as we go on it starts to close again yeah that's how you make an automatic door um pretty simple actually not too hard and yeah like I said, you don't have to set this to keep it one transparency, you know, it'll work fine, fine. And yeah, here's the full script. Zoom out a little bit so you can fully see it. And yeah, peace. Hope you guys enjoyed.